While it's not common for every home gardener to have a high tunnel, it's important to think about multiple layers for keeping crops warm. Here, for example, we are in a larger high tunnel. We could actually apply this to a smaller scale if needed. We can add a variety of options to help them along, such as row covers, which would be a material uh, that's like a fabric, allows some light to come through, yet helps retain some of the heat and moisture that the plants need. Or we can be a little bit more fancy and use some covers such as these that have some vents on the end that we can regulate the amount of airflow that comes in and out. We can use a variety of other plastics, but just something to help these crops during the early spring or maybe late fall here in Wyoming as we're trying to get them to mature and have something that we can harvest. We wanna make sure that we don't crush the plants and they have plenty of area to grow. So these are great. We have some area that the plants can actually grow up. If we're gonna use a row cover or a plastic material, we wanna make sure that they're somehow propped up. So we might need to use some pieces of wood, pieces of plastic to make sure that we have a little bit of cover and again, some area for those crops to move up. Even though we're creating a more hospitable environment for these plants to grow, we wanna make sure they're still receiving water, even though we can tell that it's quite humid compared to the other environment outside. There's a lot of options when it comes to helping out crops. If you have questions on what you might be able to do for your property or the crops you're trying to grow, please contact your local Extension office. From the University of Wyoming Extension, I'm Brian Sebade, and you're watching From the Ground Up.